Well, winning the winning the Slim Award would be it would be actually a great accomplishment because it's something you've thought about the whole time you've been here. And to win it for my PC would be amazing. The guys that I've met, the friends that I've made, I mean, they deserve it too, so. It's a goal I set for myself, and being able to achieve that just makes me feel good, like I finally did something, you know. I think winning it, uh, I think it'll give us a lot of a lot of pride to take it home, because it's, like I said, we're, we're pretty, uh, pretty tight-knit crew. So either, whoever went, we all would have felt, if they win, we're all gonna feel like we won. You know what I mean? You know, my mom and dad at home, you know, they're always telling me how proud they are of me and stuff, want me to do good. My girlfriend want me to do good. So I feel like if I could win it, they'll know that I, you know, not only was I coming to school to learn, but I came to school to learn and I was successful at it. It always feels good to win, and especially something, you know, that you care so much about because, I mean, this is the favorite thing I've ever done. It's most interesting to me. I don't think I'd ever get tired of waking up and doing it. And to be able to represent, you know, represent it like that, it'd, it'd be pretty, pretty amazing. Day two of the challenge is set to begin. Yeah, this aspect of the competition puts their knowledge on the line to good use. The guys are feeling the anticipation of the coming challenges. The swim participants head outdoors to confront the two outdoor events, the obstacle course and the hurt man rescue. But you know, this is the best of the best. We want the guy that pays attention, is a stickler to detail, and does the job to the best of his ability in that time. Anytime you, you give someone a task and you go, go, and you punch a stopwatch, that automatically adds an element to it. I think they're probably nervous. Uh, I think they probably hide it well. A little nerve wracking, because you know you gotta tie the right knots, you gotta make sure he doesn't fall. For the Hurtman one, I wasn't nervous at all about it because it was, when they took us to the extension camp as we seen it, as we pulled in, we knew what it was. So I seen it, I was like, oh, I know I can do, you know, I can hold my own doing that. Hurtman, we, uh, there was a transformer and there was a dummy simulating. Somebody hurt on a pole. So the first part I had to uh, pull a cutout switch. Now I climbed up and then assessed the situation and then tied the man up and then cut him down and loaded him to the ground safe. I got up the pole pretty smoothly, no hitches in my giddy up, so I got him down pretty fast. The obstacle course is, is always a great one. First time I saw it was at a statewide rodeo in Virginia that we participated in years ago. Uh, and I thought it was great because it's not just that that one and done event. You know, there's several things you have to go through. So it was a, a 45 foot pole with three eight foot cross arms on it. Bottom arm had a cutout that they had to uh, open. The middle arm had a drop in pin and insulator where they had to move it from one side to the other. And the top arm had dead end insulator that had to move it from one side to the other. And the goal is to end with 100 points. The obstacle course was different. Definitely. I think the harder one out of the two, just because, you know, no one's ever climbed that pole, so no one really knew what to do. Going into it, I was really nervous. I was shaking. I, I don't know, I couldn't get my nerves worked out. So once I started, that was fine. Well, I was anxious to get over there, but then when you get up to it, you get real nervous. <laughs> so uh, just get up there and get it done. It sounded pretty simple, but I figured there had to be some type of twist to it. You know, honestly, looking at it, I was like, I can transfer well, I'm really fast at climbing, and I'm like, this is in the bag, I got this. The obstacle pole climb was uh, pretty interesting, but it's nothing we've never done before. So I felt pretty good most of the, through all of them. Wasn't really surprised. The competition is finished for the Class 55 Slim Award. The participants are anticipating the final result. Throughout Class 55, they have worked hard and proved they are the best of the best. They will soon find out who is the best of all. They will soon find out who is slim. Next time on Down to the Wire. To be able to take that home to like show off to family and friends and say that, you know, I moved, you know, 10 hours away from home and came down here to to better myself, better my future, and not only did, you know, I came to school and applied myself, but I applied myself in a way that allowed me to succeed above some of the other people that are here. 
on the outside it'd be calm, calm and cool, but on the inside it'd be like, heck yeah, I just won this thing. <laughs>